<laughs> yeah, well, and that's the thing that I find so surprising is that we have so many Americans that take their liberty for granted. And then we do have people that come here and are fighting for our freedoms because, of the, you know, they're fighting for the freedoms that they came here to enjoy as well. It's just, I mean, it's pretty crazy to me that you have a lot of, you know, kids growing up now that don't even know the story of the Founding Fathers or don't, can't even say any, any bits of the Declaration of Independence. Um, but, you know, we're, we're happy to have you on our side. <laughs> I'm glad too. I, I want to I want all liberty loving people in this country really to be united. I want to point out another communist tactic is to divide the people, divide their citizens by classify them, by politically categorize them, you know, white versus black and brown. And I don't buy that because I want all people who love freedom to realize that's a typical government strategy. They want you to be divided. They want the laborers to report on each other. They even want the family to report on each other. Guess yeah. what? They benefit. That means they got you totally controlled when you are not loyal to each other anymore. You become more loyal to the, you know, the government regime and you put, you know, call police every time you got an issue with your neighbor. It's wrong. It's dangerous. That's yeah. what we do in China. So don't let the government divide us. We need to be united and we need to be more tolerant of each other. Yeah, absolutely. Goodness, you're like giving me the goosebumps because that's what we are seeing here with the nanny state and people calling on their neighbors and tattling and forcing families to be broken up and divided. A mom had to go go to jail because she dared let her child play at the playground while she was working, even though she could see her, you know, out the window. And I mean, that's the kind of thing that's happening now. It's just, it's, it's just crazy to actually listen to what you're saying and, and, to, you know, for what we do here at Infowars, it's just the writing that's is on the I wall. That's why something on Valentine's Day that we could not even tell our families about love. We not, we're supposed to express love to the party, to the chair, my mom. And they, they think that when you love each other, as individuals, then they cannot regulate. That's very private. That's expression of individualism. And they want you to be totally loyal to them, to love them. That's why you, when you see communist countries, they always have pretty girls, pretty boys, young pictures, and to show their total loyalty to the party, to the political regime. That's a very, very sick society. I still have a hard time to tell my family today in China, I love you in Chinese. Because mm -hmm. we were criticized that time if you do that. So mm -hmm. they're not used to it. But I tell my kids in this country all the time, I love you in both Chinese and English. I have no problem. But I can't do that to my own family members in China. Is that sick? And that's why some immigrants are not standing up, speaking up like me, because they are still trapped in their indoctrinated mind, in their old mentality. Some are afraid. They cannot, you know, conquer that fear, their government might still give them the retaliation. I keep telling myself, well, this is my duty. I cannot live in fear. I'm going to say whatever I believe is true. Well, Lily, thank you so much for joining us today. Lily for Liberty, uh, that's your Facebook page. Be sure to go there, like her page. She's updating constantly every day, a lot of calls to action. Uh, I know people are always looking for solutions. You know, how can we actually do anything about this tyranny? And you do provide a lot of those things there. Uh, just very simple steps that people can do one person at a time. Yes, an individual can make a difference. Uh, LilyForLiberty.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.